Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's me, Master 88, playing Pokemon Fire Red. Um, I've just come a little bit further up the way on Route 3. Uh, that's all you missed. Um, I was previously here. But I've gone past, and there were no more trainer battles or anything. Um, you've got a little patch of grass here, and then you come up here to Route 4, Pokemon Center, and there's the Mount Moon Tunnel entrance, which is where we'll be heading in a moment. Um, my Pokemons. I've, I've done a little bit of leveling up. Um, Pikachu's gone up a few levels. Uh, Bulbasaur's gone up one level. Uh, the only other thing of note... Mr. Nidoran here. I, I mentioned earlier how I'd like one of those, and I've got one, because I've just found that at Route 3. Um, very good Pokémon. Very good, and it's going to help us through this cave, because it's got uh, Double Kick, which is a fighting move. It's also very good against Bug Pokémon, because uh, it has Peck as its kind of basic move, so that, that helps take out the, uh, the Bug Pokémon. Um, but it's type, it's a poison Pokemon, and it, as I mentioned before, I think, um, it may have been in the Pokemon Amsterdam videos, um, it has an ability whereby if, if it uh, gets physically hit by another Pokemon, it can poison them. So that's a very useful ability. So anyway, let's head into Mount Moon. I didn't have music in my headset then. It was coming through the speakers. Don't like when the music comes through the speakers. Move the cursor off the screen as well. A Zubat! We're going to try and catch this by using save state abuse. I want to catch kind of everything. Um, that's when I'm playing Pokemon, that's how I do it. You know, I just like to catch everything. It's a bit silly trying to catch it this way, rather than weakening it down and then trying to catch it, but uh, such is the bonus of having an emulator with save states. There we are, Zubat was caught. Zubat's data was added to the Pokedex. It has no eyes, instead it relies on its ultrasonic cries for echolocation to flit about in darkness. No, we won't give a, uh, a nickname to Zubat. If you don't like that I'm using save states to uh, to capture Pokemon, um, tough, really. Um, you know, I've played these games before on on their original formats. I've I've done this before. I've I've done it a bloody million and one times, and um, I'm not going to use these Pokemon. You know, I'm just catching them for the sake of catching them. It's not like I need them for a purpose. When it comes to catching a Pokemon that I need for a purpose, then I usually catch it the right way. But... Is it just going to be Zubat we find in here? And that's a bug catcher. So, Sibicious, men are in the cave. What about you? Yes, I am in the cave. Bug catcher Kent sent out Weedle. So here is where the Nidoran comes into its own, it gives it a little peck, and it's super effective. And Weedle is a poison type Pokemon. Um, its main attack is Poison Sting, but it can't poison Nidoran because po Nidoran's a poison type. It's, it's great! But considering there are bug catchers pretty much all throughout the game, and Nidoran is an absolutely terrific Pokemon, I'm going to stick with it. I'm sticking with this Nidoran. It's also got quite that was a rubbish level up, but it's got a good nature. Um, that's, that makes it gain attack and lose defense. Now, Nidoran has a great defense anyway. And as you level it up, that only gets better as it evolves. Uh, what's more, it, it usually has one of the best HPs in the game. So, um... Yeah, losing that defense is not really going to do much. Gaining that attack is going to make this Nidoran a powerhouse. Proper powerhouse. Eventually I'll level it up into a Nidorino and a Nidoking. 
But yeah, when it gets to that stage, it's going to be ooh, a big old thing. Big old powerful thing. And I could probably actually get it up to Nidoking level quite early. I could probably do it before we leave this cave. We'll take that, thank you. A Parlize heal. I love when the items are abbreviated. Geodude! I want to catch that as well. So excuse me while I use save state abuse. No, don't do that, Geodude. No, don't do that, Geodude. No, don't do that, Geodude. Get in the ball, Geodude. Geodude. Be a good little Geodude. Good little Geodude. Geodude. Rock Pokemon. Its round form makes it easy to pick up. Some people have used them to hurl at each other in a snowball fight. Oh, how quaint. No, we're not going to use that Geodude. It's just... Going in the box. Sorry, I was speeding up then. I forgot that I have my... Uh... We'll double kick this Geodude. I want to see how much EXP they give. Hit two times. Ooh, that's good EXP. That's good EXP. Uh, yeah, sorry, I totally forgot that I had the running shoes, so I was I was speeding up there, as opposed to using the running shoes. Double kick. Get another 86 EXP. Oh, God, a crit there. Ooh, so close to another level. Beware, Zubat is a bloodsucker. Well, I waited for my friends to find me here. In this dark cave. Oh god, not a cliff fairy. Um, bum, 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 bum. I can't remember. I think fighting is super effective against normal type, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. Clefairy? How can a Clefairy growl? Probably barely just whimper. And that's the Clefairy gone. Bye bye, Mr. Clefairy. And hello, Nidoran level 14. Another plus 2 attack, plus 3 HP. And what? We've got other Pokemon. We've got uh, Pikachu and Bulbasaur, who are both level 14 and 15 respectively. Their HP is 38. Nidoran's already 41. So already ahead by 3. And that just keeps going and keeps going. No, uh, we don't want to take on a Zubat. We want to run from the Zubat. I'm probably not going to end up using my Butterfree now. I've, I've got so many decent Pokémon. I uh, should have picked up some Repel or something. But it's okay, you can just run away from these things. Plus, if you use Repel, you know, I, you can find Clefairy in here, and I want to catch a Clefairy. If I'm using Repel, I'm, I'm not going to find a Clefairy. So. I'm just wondering, would it be useful to uh, stick Pikachu on the front line with all these Zubat? I'll have a potion, thanks. No, 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 no. What? Don't sneak up on me, said the evil scientist. Why is it scientists are always made out in games and like, to be either nerds and boffins or just idiots? Why do I get the feeling this isn't going to be very effective? Okay, it's super effective. Well, there we are. Bye-bye, Mr. Magnemite. Voltorb. Is it going to be super effective against Voltorb as well? Voltorb's very fast. 
But we poisoned it. <laughs> That's our poison point ability there. I do love poison point ability. It might, might, that poison point ability. I'm, if it doesn't carry over to a Nidorino, I might stay off evolving Nidoran for a bit, because that ability is just too good. I'll take this bloody item. Rare candy. That'll get us a level up, a free level up. Um, right, yeah, I'm going to switch Pikachu out to the front. I want, as I mentioned, I want to level up Pikachu. Oh yeah, and the minute I do that, we get a level 8 Geodude show up, instead of a bloody Zubat, which is what we've had all this time. You're a bug catcher, aren't you? Bug catcher, Robbie. Alright, Robbie. Send out your cat peas. Thundershock. Ooh, that was close. I could quick attack that. Little quick attack, and that gets us the victory. Um, I might level up here if I leave Pikachu in, so I'm going to leave Pikachu in. I didn't want to do a quick attack there. Silly me. And we got critted. That wasn't very good. But, there we are. Another dead Caterpie. And to level up. Pikachu grew to level 16. His stats are very balanced. And yes, I will switch out to Nidoran for this Metapod. Yes, I think Nidoran has kind of made Mankey redundant now, since it has uh, Double Kick, which is a fighting type move. Um, I know Mankey gets... Um, same type of attack bonus on his fighting type moves, but Nidoran is powerful anyway, so swings and roundabouts, as they say. Please be a Zubat, so I can... Yes, thank you. I want to get this Pikachu leveled up, ready for the Cerulean City Gym. If I remember correctly, Misty, who is the gym leader, has a Pokemon that's about level 18 or 19. So I want to be matching that, preferably. I'd like to match the level of the gym that I'm going to, or beat it even, depending on what opportunities I'm given to level up. Take down another Zubat. They don't give much EXP. And an escape rope, that's good. Yes, they don't give much EXP, so it might not be worth it, actually. Whereas the Geodudes that Nidoran can take out are worth an absolute mint in EXP. Ooh, a Paras! I want to catch this. We don't have this. I want to catch it. But notice how catch it sounds like cat shit. Get in that ball. Well, that was good. First time. Thank you, Mr. Paris. Paris, mushroom Pokemon. Growing out of the bug's back are mushrooms called Tochukaso. The mushrooms grow with the bug host. Tochukaso mushroom. Ha, Bitcoin stew. Sorry, that was probably vaguely racist. I do love Japan, though. Japan's... They, they make games like this, you know, come on. Awesome place. Hi, I'm excavating fossils here under Mount Moon. Hi, I'm Ed Winchester. Sometimes Brock of Pewter Gym lends a hand. So is that all you're doing? Okay, you don't want to fight or nothing? No. Suit yourselves. Zoo, zoo, bat. Right away from the zoo, bat. Come hither and give battle. Wow, it's way bigger in here than I thought. It is indeed. It's a vast cave network, it is Mount Moon. Oddish. Oddish, oddish, oddish. 
I don't think fighting is going to be effective against it. No, not at all. I reckon peck. I reckon I need to peck away. Peck. Yes, peck, peck will do. And that will take out the orange. Is that a level up? That is a level up. No, I won't switch out for this bell sprout. I think, I'm not sure, but level 16 might be when you need a round of evolves. So I've done a quick save there, so that I can check whether its, its ability is still that poison point. I don't want to lose that poison point just yet. Yep, Nidoran's evolving. That's the evolving music. And we've got a Nidorino! And I want to check my Nidorino's ability. No, I don't want that. Page. Ah, good, it still has poison point. So that's fine. I can t I can take this Nidorino all the bloody way now. I can do whatever I like with this Nidorino. Um, just wondering whether we should switch out and start leveling up something else. Look at that Nidorino. Let's fight this little guy. I did come to explore the cave so that I could get to the other side and go to Cerulean City. Youngster Josh sent out a Rattata. Your Rattata displeases me. I will double kick it. Yeah, Nidorino's tough. Nidorino is one strong mother. Kick it! And kick it again! Uh, yes, if you're using a Zubat, I'll use a Pikachu. Can't remember, I think Zubat might be flying and psychic type, maybe? I can't remember. I can't remember their types. It's been so long since I've played this. The last Pokemon game I played was Pokemon Black and White, and that's got loads of different Pokemon in it, not the same old ones. At least not until you get to a certain point you can catch those. Uh, you're a hiker. Oh, you're just a kid, yeah, and I'm going to kick your Geodude's ass, because that's all we'll have. You're going to get double kicked into next week. Bang! Critical hit. It's super effective. Another level up for Nidorino there. Another tube attack for Nidorino, and look at those stats. Fairly normal across the board. Speed slightly higher than everything else, and attack way higher. And that attack is what's going to carry this Nidorino forward. This is going to be our powerhouse physical attacker throughout the game now. Onyx! Um, should I bring in Bulbasaur? Or even Butterfree and hit it with a confusion. That might get Butterfree some... Um 
Yeah, let's bring in Butterfree. We haven't used Butterfree. I haven't shown you my Butterfree yet. It's probably going to be absolutely useless now, but I'll give it a go. And, uh, yeah, it's that confusion attack is the reason I like to get them. That confusion is, is a reasonably powerful psychic attack with the ability to confuse the opponent, as you can see there. Confuse the Onyx, and he hurts himself. So that's why I like to get a Butterfree. Butterfree is a good Pokémon to get early on for those reasons. Double kick it. Let's get some Exper. <laughs> yes, I, I rarely use Repel in my Pokémon games. I like to go through the caves and beat things up and get the EXP. And there's a Moonstone if I wanted. If I wanted, I could evolve Nidorino into Nidoking now. And I could have a Nidoking at this point in the game. If I wanted. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. I'm not sure if I want to do that just yet. I'd have to check the move, the move lists and when they learn them, what the difference is between learning them. Um, and the stat bonuses that I might get, and most importantly, as I've mentioned, I'd have to check to ensure that Poison Point stays, and I don't think it does when you evolve into a Nido King. Poison Point at the moment is too useful an ability to pass up. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go and explore these other little offshoots on Mount Moon here. There's a Team Rocket Chappy. And we've got TM46 Thief. Not sure what that does. I'll have a look into it. Doom, doom. There's a little Paras. I wonder, is that weak to peck? Yes, it is. What EXP do they give? Uh, not bad. It's a Team Rocket. We're pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. Itchy beard. Oh, not a Zubat. Down, down, send in the Pikachu. Down, down, that is annoying. Supersonic is an instant confusion attack. If it hits, it confuses. And it's very annoying, very frustrating. Ekans! Yes, I will change, and I'm going to go back to my Nidorino. Yes, Nidorino has become my new favourite. I love... I, they're just... They're such a versatile Pokémon, and you get them early on in the game. You can get them very early. And just build them into this powerhouse. Rap. Nidorino was wrapped by Echoes. There we go, that's that gone. And is that... Yes, another level up. Stats. Only one attack. Two defense and two speed that time, though. Which is good. Yes, we will delete a move for Poison Sting, I think. That does damage, doesn't it? Yeah, not much damage, but uh, it can poison. And we will get rid of Leo for that. I don't use a lot of status moves or... Um, stat changing moves. I don't tend to use them. I understand their usefulness. Um, it, they just... they don't suit my playstyle, you know? I'm, I'm very forward, very aggressive. I don't like to be too strategic. I can be when I have to be, but... An ether. Yeah, if I have to be strategic, I will be. But otherwise, I prefer... I prefer power. You know, I'm a power person. 
It's the reason I choose... I, I can't remember if I mentioned it in the last Let's Play in the uh, Pokemon Amsterdam Let's Play, or in this one, but it's the reason I choose Abra as my psychic type over Drowsy. Because Drowsy... One of the best moves it can get is Dream Eater, but that relies on you putting your opponent to sleep before using a move, and that just doesn't doesn't work for me, you know? I don't want to be putting things to sleep, I just want to whack it with a psychic, which is what I do with my, uh, usually Kadabra by that point. Another Team Rocket guy there. We, Team Rocket, are Pokemon gangsters. We strike fear with our strength. No, you don't. You've never struck fear. Excuse me, San Shu. Um, I don't know what's going to be effective here. A couple of well, you can probably hit it with a poison sting from here and get it knocked out. I'll peck it though. What have you got now? A Rattata. I'll take that out myself, thank you. Double kick. Ooh, the Rattata got in with a crit, crit, quick attack. It's not good. What next? Zubat. Yes, I will change to my trusty Chew. Have at you, Zubat. Yes, it's super effective. And we defeated Team Rocket Grunt. I blew it! <laughs> I won't ask what. A star piece? What do I think we just sell those, don't we? Is that all that's down here? Is there not, there's got to be a hidden item or something. And there's a Geodude that I can kick in the head. it. There's got to be a secret item. No. No, there's a Pokemon fight right here. It's a Zubat. Let's run away. Run away! Run away! Brave Nidorino ran away. Away, 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 away. Right, it's coming up to the end of this video, and I want to be a coward and run back to the Pokemon Center and heal up, and then I'll come back in here and go to where we intend to go. So, until then, guys, I will stay on this side, actually. Nothing. Until then, guys, uh, until then, I'll be back in a second. Peace and love.